So, <clears throat> I figure I'll show you guys this. This is just a big T square that I made out of wood. <clears throat> and what for is whenever I go to cut with my circular saw, I, uh, I use this as the fence. And this, all I have to do is make the mark where I want to cut and then line up that edge of the piece of the wood there to my mark. And that lines up perfectly with my saw blade. When that is up against the fence, my saw blade lines up right there. So that eliminates the measuring, saves a little bit of time, however you want to use your circular saw. So here I just show you this, you may or may not have seen it before in a video, but that's what that does. back on I would normally rabbit this in so that you wouldn't see this end grain all the way around but on the sides um, the sides would be between uh, two shelves so you're never gonna see it um, so I'm just gonna put it on the back just like this Also, X marks a square corner, and that's the corner you always want to start on. So all I'm doing there is just marking where I want to place biscuits.
some of you may or may not know this already, but if you ever want to make shelves out of plywood, the best way, in it, well, I should say, if you ever want to make shelves out of plywood and paint them, the best way to do it is, well, you know how the edge of plywood is, you can see the end grain, and it never paints very well. So, what I do, and I'm sure some of you already know this, is that they sell iron-on edge banding. It already has a glue on the back side, and that's why they call it iron-on, because once you hit it with some heat, um, it melts the glue and it adheres to the wood. Uh, so, this is what I do, especially if I'm going to paint. Uh, even if I'm not going to paint, um, it just it's just a cleaner look. It looks finished, but, you know, a lot better than the end grain. Uh, so yeah. So you just want to go back and forth with your iron until you melt that glue on the back side. And then once it starts melting, it's going to start to adhere to the wood. You can barely even see, well, it's not going to focus, but you can't even see the edge. Nice solid piece of wood. Paint's really easy if you're going to paint it. And if not, it looks good just like that. You can stain it, just put a clear coat on it. This stuff works really nice. Does anyone else mix their epoxy with screws? Let me know in the comments.